Let's not get fooled by their friendly faces because this next game of CSGO is going to be deadly. Let's dive straight in. This is the map we know and now let's see what do they choose. And it's gonna be Cobblestone. Thoughts about it, Jerry? Who is going to win this match? If Shadels wins this game, bro, uh, this would be a totally one-sided domination for them. Because all, they already have one tech and a real player. So they get like more three, three points to this Bobo that is so top 15. They had eight already. They did win uh, a, Dota, a, series, a Dota match like earlier and also one. They have just won a Dota match, match if I'm not wrong. This yeah, they, uh, they also win, uh, the Seattle's also win one cricket uh, match. So okay. they have a lead uh, with that on 8 points and now they have a total score of 14. And Freaky giving a headshot to Chris and Slots as well, taking down power. It's a 3v5 situation. Instantly the pistol run go is now in the favor for the CTs. But Magic showing us some magic with a nice headshot coming on Freaky. Just well, well, just trying to fight the two players in the balcony. Nice start by Shadows again, getting four, getting critical, and only the two guys surviving. And it comes down to one. Kavish is alone, survived by the CT side, and he's taken down by Buster. So a good opening round from the Shades. Shades is out over here, uh, just uh, rushing from the A side. A side, so he a long rush, and he put the A side on the side. Crusaders ko maat di di. So first round, Chaydils ko gaya hai. Jaise hi first round gaya, waise hi bhi dekhte hain Crusaders kya karte hain. Wo bai ke liye gaye hain second round mein. They have like gone for a few upgraded pistols and a scout. This is like a mixed buy around, yeah, and scout. That that's quite. Well, yeah. Chris has been the sniper for the team, and they have gifted him a scout. Well, Rex is just trying to push a little bit aggressive. They already have like a lead with the score one to two because they had a plant as well. So they are now with guns and the trees are just charging on the CTs one by one. They are just falling down. It's a 1v4 situation for the CTs now. And Kavash is the only guy surviving. It's like the round is getting repeated and the strategy of giving a scout to Krish has certainly backfired and it will have a Tremendous hit on the economy because they they didn't go eco. They took their pistols, they had their armors, but nothing well went well for them in this round, and they will have to lose this round as well. Let's see whether Kavish can save his weapon so that they have some at least something to cheer about in the next round, or uh, else he would be hunted down. As for sure, the mm -hmm. shadows are hunting like uh, what do you call? A land? They, they're hunting like a land now for him, but let's see whether they can find him. He's sitting, but I oh don't know what was he down. thinking out over there. He, he, was, he was safe and secure at the drop, but he chose otherwise. He tried, I don't know what was he thinking there. Trying to be, be a little smart, trying to do a ninja. Ninja is the... Uh, uh, and let me tell you what ninja is first. 
a ninja defense is, is the one in which you are not being spotted and you just fool your enemies and that is called that, that is what a ninja is if i'm not wrong jerry yeah that you're perfectly right and the economy has been destroyed for the cities as they went for a buy in the last one but currently the situation is they are just stacking everyone is stacking on bomb side b but the t's are actually moving towards the underpass that's mid the c4 is slowly just moving towards yeah but freaky getting freaky over here getting one frag will go for the second but no but kavish takes him down with a headshot it's a 4v4 situation and magic oh my god the fire is so close to him he can just burn oh my god that was so close for him and but he goes out and buster through the smoke and the doors gets bumblebee That Again, is comes down to a 4v2 situation. Busters with a good few kills out over there, getting two kills on a throat. You can say, and like, like just two kills in two seconds, you can call it. But Rich takes on power, power, and Kavish, not able to withstand. Again, Kavish, the lone guy, again just standing here with an SMG. It's a one-on-four situation every time, every single time from the start round. We have seen like Kavish is the lone guy just with an SMG. Kavish is just behaving a like a watchman out over here. He's, he he just has to uh, stay outside, stay, like stay outside and, and guard his weapon. And all his teammates are surrendering meekly to the great state. And Kavish has finally managed to secure his weapon, unlike in the first two rounds. And this would be a proper round. Red Sea, where the Crusaders can make a fight back, fight back, कर सकते हैं नहीं या फिर शेर दिल शेरों की तरह वापस उनका शिकार कर लेंगे. Let's see what happens this round. Well, both the team are on like a perfect buy. Velocity does has like a lot of amount to work with, but he is not going to buy anything. He's just going with like even few resources. He's just trying to make a little bit uh, like a little bit out of his. I guess he's playing the support role right now, and he's just donating all his weapon, all his money. It, uh, He's not even donating. Like, okay, the T's have already made an entry to the bomb site. They are very playing very aggressively. But freaky, that backfires him. And Magic and Kavish stack teaming up, getting down all the T's with one by one. And two v four situation. Buster is like still like uh, at a good position to just take a fire with those players. But you can always uh, bank on Buster and Rich, and being the two of the top top okay. players. And Buster takes on power a one v two situation. Krish with a. With low on HP, he's he just has 19 HP left, and Kavish with his full HP and armor and a smoke to use. Let's see whether Buster can pull this off for Shadil, or will he be taken down by the duo of Kavish and Krish? Krish and Kavish, two of the veterans of the team, you can call them, the more experienced player, and Buster also a very good player and playing uh, professionally from the past. Three to four years. But it's not Let's a good posy that the CTs have hold it because the C4 is dropped on directly on the bomb side and they are not even covering it. Well, I think so. Like they did spot they're going, they're, Buster. They're, they're going in for a recap. They, they are like to plant Karle, boy. Then we'll kill you. And yeah. they are playing it safe out here because Chris is low on HP, so he cannot take an oh, open Buster shot. Buster might go down, but now he's looking at Chris and he takes on Chris. It's a one v one situation. Buster is playing really, really smart. Twenty five uh, seconds on the clock, and he will go for the plant now. But Kavish already knows that the uh, rotation has been made by him, and he will take down Buster with a headshot. Now we'll go for the defuse. Two kills coming in from Kavish. A nice round. Finally, we see him. Oh, that knife, that aggression on his body. That is called what? What do you call? He's remembering all his frustration of the three rounds. He he was the lone survivor in all the four rounds, and finally he managed to snatch a round from the Shadels and the buy first buy round going out to the Crusaders. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they, they played really well, but yeah, the execution from the Shadel side Excuse was also great. It wasn't like uh, they did something wrong or bad. Like yeah, even Buster played smartly. The move that he did, like going through, like first he wanted to hunt few players down and then was going for the plant. <coughs> that was a nice move by Buster over there. But still couldn't do much. But yeah, at least he tried. And at least Kavish could be proud finally, of something. Yeah. Finally, he's like, like yes. three round, marau, year round, me marau, and that was the frustration. He was knifing. Buster, not actually Buster. No, Buster is going a little bit aggressive at the drop zone. No, he's not going aggressive. He's just waiting for the smoke to fade so again he can make an entry towards drop side. Velocity trying to enter a uh, a ramp, and he has successfully tried entered. And let's see whether he can get the entry kill. And Rich, meanwhile, takes on Crash. Crash has Crash has been taken down by Rich, the captain for the Shadels. And Buster takes on Bumblebee and Kavish takes down Velocity. uh nice trade for the shade shade is out over here uh, uh three versus two trade 
and magic and power will be holding the guarding the inside. But Buster takes on power. Buster is on song right now. His bullets are hitting the right. What do you call it? Target. The it is hitting the right target, and mostly they are the heads of the opponent. So the C4 uh, goes down, and Magic is alone left in a one v three situation. Well, still Ritz is on very low HP. Just a tap of a bullet like that goes through him, and he's gonna die. But Buster pulling Magic out of this game. Oh my God, these guys are playing really, really well, and the economy has. Being shattered on the city side, showing what are they made of. They, I guess, Bashar did didn't like to drop a round towards the Crusaders, and he he's like, "Badla lunga, apne ek round kaise nikal liya?" Jab main itna acha khel raha hoon, let's see. Bashar would be doing most of the entry fragging for now. It seems because his bullets are hit, hit, hitting the right target. He's on song. He's in a good flow, and when you're in flow, this is a game of momentum. momentum. Moment, you can say. Even if if it's your day, no force can stop you. You can beat anyone in the world when it's your day. And I guess it's a day of Buster. And by the he's way, he's aggressive. yeah, he's also playing aggressive and is not afraid to take his shots. So he's like he's hunting them. They are hunting them in packs. And Buster takes on Chris. Another entry frag from Buster. And Freaky takes on Magic. Magic fails to produce any magic on the field, but three three. Three kills. What? On the Crusaders. Three kills for the Crusaders in they like a blink pistols. of an eye. They're just playing on pistols. Now they have AK. Like they got like all three kills perfectly. And now they are with AK. And again, Slot showing us some magic. Like he has already uh, taken down. Power was caught in a very awkward situation over there. I don't know what what what, is, what was he marking, showing his back to Slot. And let's see whether Slot and Velocity. The no. Looking for a backstab, but Slot with one more frag. Krish on the same pose. Yes, we just spot them and won't be able to take him out. But where else did we get insulted? Takes down Kavish. This is a pure team performance from Shadels and the guys, the guys who were the bottom frag are stepping up, stepping up at the right time and showing their class. Like if Buster can do it, so can we. And Shadels leading with five games to one and currently running away with the game. Crusaders. Uh, are not aware of what is happening right now currently. They should come up with a new strategy. I guess they should play a little safe, respect their game. It's their day. Let's play it safe and and not take too many aggressive shots. When it's not, and Basta getting two kills and he's like taking them down single-handedly. Power with his two with two headshots on slots and velocity. But Basta completing the formalities as well. He's like he's in a hurry to go home right now. He wants to catch a flight somewhere. I guess he's running late somewhere. He's like, "Fatah, fatah, khatam, khatam, jaata hoon main." He just wants to end things quickly. I he guess the Crusaders should take a tactical pause right now because nothing is going well for them. They should It, go. First. Yeah, because uh, because most of the times after a break, the momentum changes. Good for Crusaders because they haven't even won a single game now, and they are the, the score uh, on the lead leaderboard side. They are on the least. They just they are like way points. down. They are way down. They have to come up with something because this strategy is not working for them. And if they even lose this one, it's a huge damage for them. They won't be able to win a single game. After that, after this, this is it, uh, we have Dota as well. So let's see if something goes wrong on on this map, like. They do have one more map to uh, cover it up, and Crusaders are mainly caught out of posy. See, they have left the drop open because they they are they are not able to hold the posies. Two guys are marking drop, but Freaky gets the second out over there. But Magic takes him down. Magic is marking triangle as well as the drop, and Buster he's like, wait, sab ka badla lega tera Faisal. <laughs> <laughs> but Magic is actually pushing through the smoke. He, oh, he doesn't lose. Oh, he he's like there. Buster, but Buster was there already, but Buster picks him down, and but Krish with the op Magic, he already picked a guy from the T. And let's see whether Buster situation. can do any more yeah. damage out over here. He's in a very good position right now. He can make an entry towards drop to A, or he can just go to the B side. But he's waiting for someone to just flash him, or he'll he'll do it alone. He's like, I'll do it alone, single-handedly. I'll take them down. And let's see, he makes an entry towards the triangle. He has not been spotted. Bumble be marking triangle, but Krish takes on Buster. That's a good shot for Krish. And Rich, the captain, takes on Krish. It's like a, uh, it was not a good trade-off. You cannot trade Buster today because he's on song right now. But Kavish takes the 
takes down Rich and slots. But Kavish was good with in that round. Like he played really good. Like he is now coming up with good things. Like now he he might get the momentum at this point of time. Kavish is playing his smart out smartly out over here because he knows he is a only guy who is firing from the crusader side. So he has to survive the most number of rounds until the end. If crusaders needs to win this, if they if they ha if they want to have a chance in this, and Kavish has to. Uh, just played safe out over there because it's not going well for the other players. Bumble be sitting on one frag, and let's see, Reed's has been Reed's has been taken down. Well, power just holding uh, near underpass. That's our long ramp. But Buster is now moving slowly towards that. Well, Chris goes down after taking two guys, and it's not looking good for the sailors right now. It's a two v four situation. Both guys are with rifles, and they do have resources as well. Buster puts down a smoke just for but, safety reasons. But the, but the round is still not over. You still have Buster alive, and by the way he's going right now, mm -hmm. you cannot just uh, mark this round off because Buster is still alive and he can do considerable damage. And Power uh, slowly making his way up to the A long side. Bumble be marking drop. Well, all the posies are, have been marked by the CTs properly. There is a one guy on each of the posies that can have an entrance. So this is really good for them, but yeah, Magic does spot, slots through the smoke and gets him how, down. How did he spot him? I, I, that's a one-sided smoke, that's a one-sided smoke. If you just see a leg, like a, like just a small bit of a piece of any guy, you can just shoot through the smoke and, and he gets him down. And let will go in for this round or he'll just stay in It's a 1v3 situation, you just have like 20 seconds on the clock, so he won't move much, he would go for a save. Because that armor would and cost this him is like what more. good players are made of. He knows it's it's his day. He he, he could have gone in for the round, but uh, he stays thinking about the team. He could donate uh, AK uh, in the next round, so he's playing it safe. A uh, good thinking by Buster there, not going because he had he was low on HP 28. He just needed a bullet to be brought down. So mm -hmm. that was a good play from Buster. This is what good players are made of, and that is what makes them great. Crusader is making some sort of a comeback into the game with. By taking two rounds on its throat and Shade will still stuck at six. Let's see whether Shade will scan move the uh, round tally uh, further. But the keys are with like, good buys, but just not free key. They do have resources to walk with. Uh, but currently, it's not looking good for them because they do have like weapons and properly, but uh, two players are on C, uh, one player is on CZ and one is on D. So we do see upgraded pistols that they won't do much damage if the shots don't, don't connect properly. And I guess they should avoid going in front of Krish because Krish is getting 1-2 kills on it with, with his AWP. Yeah. And, uh, they should actually avoid long yeah, range fights. Long range fights because Krish is normally good at long range and he's one of a very good AWPer in the current scenario. And let's see, they're, they're trying to enter drop, they're trying to flash Bumblebee they are, and they have successfully managed to jump drop and let's see whether they will, they will be going to the A side or the B side. And that was, that was not a good thing. And Freaky gets a just, thing, gets they a thing have on just Bumblebee and Chris takes on Velocity. I didn't know what was... Oh my god, that was a double shot. Chris was amazing in that round and it's... Buster again left 1v2 situation. He is low on HP. He is on the side. He is just waiting for the perfect time to and just spot just one guy. Yeah, he is actually looking at the balcony. Cheeky shot. Yeah. It's like. But they can still pop his head easily. Yeah, he's he, just very low. And they don't even have any info that the player is still and ah, He misses the shot and power will fall back. He is still on side. He's I just, guess he, he, he is hit, not even going for the pattern. He took he fire in the hole too seriously. He was uh, watching through the hole. And Buster planting the C4. Oh, but the nade would take him nade. out. Nade. He was very low on HP. The uh, nade has done considerable damage. And Crusaders winning this round comfortably, you can say. Krish getting uh, two kills in one shot. And that was amazing. amazing. But he totally got three kills in that round. That round was amazing. And one one shot were, shots were divided by the, both of the players. Hmm. So this was really nice. A nice comeback coming in from the Crusaders. You can tell eight tier do Nishan. <laughs> And Crusaders. I'm still not sure that he was. He did get uh, two shots in a row. But uh, Shaden will uh, miss the point out over there. They they molded the drop B side and they also smoke. 
flash so they wasted the utilities out over there they used too much flash they used too much of flash and the grenade at yeah. the dro that dro drop site and nothing was left when they actually reached the site so they need to use the resources very caref carefully right now and they are being given a tough fight with the crusaders out over here what do you think jarin which which sided map is this is, is it a d sided map or a cd sided map it's actually a pretty much cd sided map because you just spawn on the seat at like the bomb site and they you can get like a really nice position just to hold properly and to play this game like very softly but the current situation is oh freaking getting just a little bit tickled to the toe burning there but now power with a grenade in his hand that would have caught him but this oh my god i'm getting confused this everything is happening like so fast the power has already got two kills and in a Rings blink of a captain. second the round comes down to two uh, the a 2v1 scenario out of way a power and crash from the crusader side as well. uh, couldn't survive long power takes him down power showing what is made of and sh actually showing his power when it's required when the mns team needed kavish and power doing it for the crusaders bumblebee is the only guy who needs to step up right now and if he step up there's uh, no one can snatch this match away from the crusaders because shadels have been jinxed at the number 6 i guess 6 is not the favorite number and they're currently hitting it let's see what happens this round will shadels make a comeback they are they are taking pistols they uh, have been uh, see, have been seen over here with upgrade pistols all of them have cgs and one dig but uh, they don't have armor they have just invested 500 dollars and this won't work properly if they not get a plant in this round i guess shadows are playing it too fast they they need to uh, give some time to themselves they do spot magic and he is flash and velo will take him down they do have a man advantage and slowly what the hell is going on they are on eco they all have cgs and they are just thrashing crusaders here krish and bumblebee the two guys left for their team they ha they do have an op in their hand and like they should go for a save it's not safe for them just to enter the side like without any scope for flash but crash picks him up with an op and bumblebee tagging him up tagging shot oh but he get back stab by rates and velo picking up crash a nice eco has been seen from the city side they didn't even had an armor or something else to work with but they just pulled it finally, awesome the jinx has been broken and shadels finally managed to get a round after of four rounds if i'm not not on the score line was six games to one and it came down to six games to five and shadel finally managed to get a round out over there and shadel should just play it easy right now they should utilize they have one point how many seconds do we have in a round it's 1.75 so that uh, 1.5 i guess they the government need to tell shadel that you got 1.75 minutes to play with so you can just utilize all the rounds you, you you shouldn't be in a hurry the flight can wait or the train can wait <laughs> but winning is more important out over here bumblebee marking drop at short range which is a good thing to do yeah. and they have taken down two players from the shadow sides free can velocity a, um, they have a slight advantage big, uh, you you can have one man advantage slight, one one man advantage but they are very low on their weapons that they are like uh, they have a pistol only magic has an ak So I guess magic has to do the more amount But of damage. But look at power. He is at like a proper. Uh, he's at a proper point for a backstab. Like they don't have any info. If he just pushes in like YOLO, <laughs> they would die instantly. And I think like slow. No, I guess he, he would be playing it safe. And somebody has. To, I guess somebody has heard you, Jerry. And they have started <laughs> watching the backstab. Oh, like no, like they are just pushing it now. Buster gets a nice shot on magic in the three v three situation. All the players are. Just left with this and power missing that shot, but now let's see if he gets it back and a shot to Buster. That's a nice headshot, Lord. Do we want situation? Lord, the only guy remaining. And he has the C4, but he is actually going back. He's looking for power. Let's see. He, he has. He does see a power jumping there, and he will actually fall back to the bomb site. He has to plant this, or it will. It can go wrong. They don't have like enough cash to work with. He has to. get this plan but kavish would go for an entry he is still looking here and then he just has like a, oh my god he is going for the fight and power just running there at the perfect time he is so saved a good play from power out over there just wasting his time just just trying to show them that me aa raha hu me nahi aa raha hu me aa raha hu me nahi aa raha hu me aa raha hu me nahi aa raha hu and just he managed to fool slots out over there and slots 
couldn't do it, couldn't repeat his heroic what he did in the sixth round of the game. But they're actually overdoing everything. Like Shahidil, look at them. They are just actually overdoing things. If they if they are rushing, they are rushing in like too fast, and if they are camping, they're, they're camping, camping too, too slow. And if it's oh, like a clutch <laughs> round of situation, they're just holding to get a pick till the end, till the time goes off. And Rich makes an entry. He's like, Abhi, I'll I'll show you the way. But he How gets it done instantly by Kavish. But he takes on magic. You can give it. G give this to Rich for getting an entry frag. While Power also gets Buster and Freaky with nice headshot. Two kills already on Power. It's a 2v4 situation. Oh, Chris, the timing. Like, okay, he did, he does spot one and picks down. Bello. Okay, slot slowly moving and he misses the shot. Now he has like info there is a guy and rotations have been made, but he finally picks slots with a nice shot. The match stands tied at seven games to all. And let's see who takes the momentum into the next half. Will it the Crusaders or the Shaders? And oh. <laughs> Well, the players are yes. raging so yes. much. Oh my god. The rage on these players. The players are raging left, right and centre out over there. <laughs> you can just hear them and they are getting too aggressive out over here. Oh the, my god, this rage this between rage, the players is crazy. People watching on YouTube, they have to see what's happening at the dugout van and currently situation. Meanwhile, on the map, uh, the Crusaders are actually on the lead with two guys. Like, okay, the situation not looking good. For the team, it's a 3v5 situation. They are actually, they have actually boosted Ritz uh, over there, and Ritz picking up the wish and goes down by magic. A nice shot, but slots alone guy left on half of HP. He is trying to pick through frags, but no. Crusaders take this uh, eight to seven. The scoreline, the first half. Crusaders take the advantage in the next round, and I guess the strategy of cheering that there's too much cheer on cheer cheering going on for the shades right over here. And I guess th th this is what is bringing him down because I guess the players won't be able to hear a. Not, not even a single thing about the sound. They, they need the headphones to uh, just uh, hear the footsteps. But the amount of cheering done by the Shadils, I guess they are not able to do it. It's so loud that they don't have any sound. It's like it's like a pair of glory man. But let's see. Oh my God! This, this is not at all a friendly banter out over here. It's getting too aggressive and the. काफी गरम माहौल है। You wouldn't like this, but I'm loving this। गर्मा गर्मी बहुत हो रही है दोनों टीम के बीच में और कोई इन्हें कि कोल्ड कॉफी दिया जाए, कोल्ड कॉफी मुंह पे फेंकी जाए। Oh my god! The rage has been stopped. Oh my god! This is crazy. It's getting heated about the way. I'm just loving this. No team going for a tactical pause. They are like, we can do it without a pause. We don't need actually a tactical pause. There was a great comeback from Crusaders out over there. Coming back, being 6-1 down with hardly any money left to buy some weapons. Yeah, a nice backup. You can always give it a true Crusaders and they are like, we won't go down so easily. We won't go down so easily and we will give them a tough fight. And Crusaders trying to enter mid, they are mixed up into the A rap and Bumblebee who couldn't uh, get many kills in the CD side uh, finally managing to get uh, take down Reds and Buster gets on power and Buster by just spamming through the B doors. Because the G4 was dropped over there and like Kavish is still waiting for a guy to move in well or just move in and just pick for Kavish over here. It's a 3v3 situation. Uh, one player is very really low on HP that Buster. But well on a nice headshot. Coming in and it's a 1v1, 1v2 situation. Chris alone left in this situation. The C4 is still on the side of a proper side, proper plant and a 1v1 situation. Chris, a smoke over there. Oh, he is playing very cheeky. He has gone. Bumble. Bello has no info where is Chris right now and he is just playing my game. He just fought Bello and will take him down with a headshot. Crusaders with a nice comeback, taking a two round lead on them. Bumblebee का game देख के ऐसा लग रहा है कि उन्होंने सुबह खाने में धोखा गया है। Because nothing is going right for him, and he is just surrendering meekly. He is just holding the poses like he is not getting the hang of things right now. And someone needs to give him a pep talk just to cheer him up because nothing is going right for him. He just he got the first kill and he was standing like with with no info. Below the heaven, he was like he was watching the wall. 
But currently on the city side, we can see a few upgraded pistols, and they have no cash left. They should actually at least go for one guy with a diffuse kit because in the previous match yesterday, you saw like the player. It was a really close match. Like when Mithilvad had gone for a bomb diffuse, like he got the kill, but at the end he didn't have the diffuse. It went down to three seconds and the bomb blew up. So with a diffuse, it takes five seconds to do it. But if you don't with have a diffuse, diffuse kit, kit, it takes five seconds, and without a diffuse kit, it, it takes, takes 10. ten seconds. So you should be smart. You should you buy do a have diffuse like, kit. Yeah. Yeah. If you do have Most of the players, I think they they, they they don't buy their kit. I don't know why, but they but don't buy their kit. But currently, it's actually on like task, eco situation task. for them as well. And they are like not uh, playing this heavily. They just want to like drop their guns and just give them a free. Damage, but stopped with a headshot and power, getting an exchange over here. You need to buy a kit because long, and the rotations have been made from the city side. There, the C4 will be going on A, but Chris gives his posy over here, and they come back for him. Oh, a huge mistake made by Chris. The C4 was there; he could have given them a plant, but the bomb side B is now clear. Chris would now be making a move towards bomb side B. And the players are already marking all the poses. And Jairin, you just pulled out a Shankar Mahadevan out over here. It's like you just, just the way he was talking. I, I, I didn't uh, like to stop you, but that was, that was quite a good a minute of talking. And let's thank there. you. And they are marking B doors, and the are just waiting to get their hands on their guns. They are like uh, they they would be going for the guns and not going for the round. Which is a wise thing to do. But they Let do have armor to save, and like the thousand dollars they have invested is thousand dollars <laughs> is quite a big amount. Yeah. So you you shouldn't waste it. And Crusaders playing it safe. They are like we won't give them gum. It's it's hard earned. Itna mehnat se kama hai, aise hamne nahi denge. And they khun pasine ki kamai. They won't be going too far. Zada dur nahi jayenge safe. Because they know the shit will be waiting like a like a wounded lion out over there and. Would be very pouncing on any opportunity coming their way. It's not looking good for Shail. The comeback from Crusader is really heavy. I thought like they would uh, like play it normally, like when they when they started. So it. What, what did I say? Like I am really confused. Like the, the, at the start, like Shailers were really. Really, like there was no motivation to them. They just they were just playing like they normally. Just away with the they game, just, but yeah. I don't know what has happened to the game. Why have why, why have they? One crit the going for the one, going for the second. Kavish, my bad. Kavish for the second kill as well, and going for the third one as well. My God, this guy crazy, and the fourth one. Oh my God, will he take a And yes, he does. He gets five kills. And there's there's no main thing to do. It's 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 not a. What do you call it? It's not easy. Punch someone in one round. I can't punch one round. But he has taken down five. That's a good round from Kavish. And Shade Dills, which will have to go for the tower. Yeah, he's going to have to go back to the drawing board and rethink the strategy. If they have to make a comeback. Now, nothing but Shade Dills is going. Yeah, well for them. Right now, they're not going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They're going to have to go back to the I said I'm it's not looking good for him. At the start, he was dominating so well. It's, and he's sitting on 18. Uh, he was in 17 frags, and he was still uh, sitting on 18 frags. From the past three to four rounds. So not much of a frag for Bashar over there. But Magic making a comeback. Firstly, I want to talk about the map that has been changed. And here, 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 the map Oh, but he takes a cover at the correct time, and the fuse has already been entry, and he will pick magic. Oh my God! But he goes down. The power has already picked freaky with that kill, and the players are flagging. The flags have been exchanged by the players. And so one with three. This should be easy for Kavish. He took down five of them last round, and now there are only three. And he has full on HP. But it won't be like good for him if he just enters like just. You want to talk a little bit more about the strategy? 
Well, would miss the death spray on red. That was quite. Uh, that was. I don't know why Kavish does so much into the round, giving so much. And now we know why Ritesh made three thousand points. It's like, and he's had a smoke to work with. He could have blocked at least one angle. He completely played running like a dog on the side. He was. He was running. Won the round single-handedly for Crusaders and got them the lead at the start. The right purple. And that is why Ritesh is getting a round finally. And he was all over the map. All the round tally from eight to nine. And then the Crusaders on the back of some heroic plays by Chris. Won't be able to buy for the next round. Power. 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 But if they lose, they are just gone. Like they will have to go for one more equal. Uh, either of the team goes broke after losing this round. Let's see. This. But uh, Crusaders have an advantage of uh, C4 plant. If so they manage to, I, I made C4 plant. They will have economy. At least some economy to play with in the next round, with which we, with which they can buy at least some weapons. Okay, he was talking. Okay, cool. Let him let him say whatever. Crusaders playing it safe out over here, trying to get an entry into the B side. The smoke yeah. and the pop clash will be coming in, and a nice trade off there. Crusaders taking down three, three, three. Your magic gets like by chara. Even the point you can call it. One your, one my. So let's go with. This is like a proper trade track coming in, but Krish is all always playing a long. He is actually good with playing with a long, but he is. So Mikhail, here I guess he's just playing long. Long range, uh, he's been excellent and he's single-handedly won Shadrills on the T side. And now we know why Ritesh put 3,000 points on him. We can pick Chris because Chris doesn't have any points. The guy is holding and Chris will go down instantly with the one bullet. Crusaders made a great comeback on the back. And Chris is opening with his own point. From the second half, he just wanted to blow to get off. And the C4 gets chanted on B. And Bumblebee with five is popping his power sniping with 22 and cover with full body. It looks like we have an eight point that is coming up right now. He is also low on HP. Two, both the teams are really low on HP. This can be anyone's round. And slots go down. Red. It's all on Ritz, but Ritz so still can win the situation. It, both the players are low on HP, but it's a proper crossfire for them. But Ritz managing to pull Bumblebee down. And there was Kavish and Kavish and Bumblebee. Bumblebee. So yeah, he all, uh, he first and picked Bumblebee the and then he p uh, picked Kavish. But a nice reflex and a nice rotation, one in each shot. Like he picked instantly picked Bumblebee and he knew there was a guy on the side, so he directly moved his cursor properly towards uh, the side at the statue. Bumblebee needs to step step up at least now if the Crusaders have to win this and stay alive because. He's not oh my God! Oh, he threw the smoke. Two gets two frags. That he's going nice. for the third one as well, but no Buster will pick him off for him. And he's now going for Kavish, but Kavish is taking a huge damage, but now will be falling, uh, now will be falling back. It's a 1v4 situation. He is low on HP. He should go for a save. Oh, but now he has been caught off guard. He goes down by Freaky. The C4 goes down. And I don't know how he manages to stay alive as the last guy always. How yeah, always, man. Like every freaking time, he is the last guy on the team. And if you do it in the com competitive mode uh, while we play online, they will call you Bakra, <laughs> Bakra stats, Bakra stats. But he has all the authority to make it because he is only guy performing right now. They're not even like proper buys coming in from the team. They just look at them. It's like last round, Kavish had an AK. That was a wrong buy because they, the team was on Eco, and now Magic has an AK, and other guys are on. The CZs, they should have like a proper coordination between them. Otherwise, they would lose more rounds and they would give a chance of uh, for, for the comeback for the Shadils. But nevertheless, yeah, Grids does spot them and would be blocking them up with the Molly and Power just Molly. Oh, just Power like didn't have enough power in his legs to cross that fire. He just gave an Agni Parisha and failed miserably. But Reds have been taken down. A 4v3 scenario favorable for the Crusaders. Bumblebee again caught. Napping in uh, on the bomb site, bomb site A. He's like, I'm. I'm sure he's not playing the next game. <laughs> but and Buster now is like at a very safe pose. He well covers. There's a guy rushing towards him. Velo doesn't have any info that he is already here, and he takes them with a headshot. It's and a B weeks. side has been captured. All the uh, rest of the two players are marking A side. The B side has been open. The only guy marking B had left it unattended, and had paid paid the price for it. Buster and Slot uh, fighting for the. Sure, Shades is right now and Kavish just playing it safe, marking 
just near from near the statue just wait, waiting for his opponents to show That's up that is the rare spot like people do they don't check see this is a rare spot they don't check spot. people don't check you can also call the bot pose or the bot say yeah and the professional players they don't check bot poses <laughs> the economy has been destroyed for the shares now they would go for an eco but yeah rich does have uh he does have like a lot of cash to work with he can drop few crystals for his team but no मेरे पैसे मैं नहीं दूंगा बीम लेके प्रॉपर गुजराती हो Oh well, coming back to the game. Meanwhile, the CTs are on an eco, but Bumblebee picks. Freaky. Bumblebee picks freaky. That's quite interesting. Bumblebee on the scorecard after long. He was on the, always on the wrong side of the scorecard. But this Ritz is actually just pushing there. He can get got. Oh, the Molly. He just got saved by the Molly. And he's playing with fire right now. Let's see whether he can take. Diwali is still on. <laughs> no, yeah, Diwali is still on. India. <laughs> But Crusaders uh, taking the round in like just ten seconds after entering the sites, and Shade is going down again. Mm -hmm. So Shade will still struggling to stay in the match, and Crusaders, the firm favourites now, unlike in the start where they were being taken down very easily by the Shade and mainly Buster. But Buster is not being well supported by his teammates. They are. I don't know what's going wrong for the Shaders out over here. And I feel bad for Buster. He's the only guy who is just wrecking the opponents. But Kavish is doing well as well. Oh my God! It's crazy that aggressive push from him doesn't uh, does like much do for him. That was like a punishment by Freaky. Freaky just picks like easily. Like he just rushed in and like that. There was like few bullets to his body. And now Freaky taking a nice posey, which players don't check often. But it's quite an open pose. You, he is you, open, yeah. But a uh, few flashes coming in, and he he and will have to fall back. He will have to fall back, or he will spot it easily from A long as well. But if power is going uh, towards long, yes. And if there is like a slight of view for power, if he can see, but I no power has no see. info. But even freaky. Oh my God, turning at the right point, and freaky they just are just like back to back. Sixty out over there. <laughs> he's like he's. Oh well, Reds <laughs> taking the shot, and freaky gets down two kills and. Instantly traded off by power. Power didn't check that pose. But he had to. But oh my God, he also takes two frags and goes down. But now yeah, coverage again paid. and again and again. The last guy is serious. <laughs> that pose <laughs> actually paid off for Freaky and coverage just falling heaven and he'll be marking. Uh, well, pre fires in the sphere, yeah. but uh, couldn't do. I guess he should have waited for one guy. He sh he should have taken down. Now he has to face a one v three situation. Like all the players would be rushing on him, and he goes low on extra by Velo, and Buster will be completing the frag for the team. I guess Kabe should have just uh, waited for a few more seconds or like twenty uh, ten twenty seconds more. Uh, he should have uh, taken down one more of his opponents, so it would be a one v two. Scenario and quite doable, uh, quite achievable. But one v three is always tricky because you they come in from three sides and you are not always ready. Can to watch all the three sides and you cannot hit in one go. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, the economy doesn't look good for the CTs now. But yeah, if they lose this one, I don't think so. There is a, even a chance of a comeback from them. It's not looking good, good for them. The comeback from Crusaders have destroyed the. Would you have any thoughts on it? Come again, I just. So yeah, do you have like you were way much into the game? You're just looking at velocity. Like, what is he doing, this guy? Like, will he again fire through the smoke? And a molly. He did fire through the smoke, but he couldn't get any kills this time. Well, he is like now totally blind by the flash, and the thieves have made an entry to the bomb site. And Bumblebee just picking up slots easily, and he go for the second frag as well. Gets out, red. Power gets down at the two frags. Call it as some sort of a miracle, Bumblebee. Gets But he's coming he from, from behind. Kavish, Kavish has been taken down, and let's see whether he can pull this off for his team. No, but he can't. He's taken down by Crush, and Crusaders just two match points away from taking this match and making a comeback into this lead against the Shaders. 14 to 11, the scoreline. The Crusaders just need two points for the win. 
and Chetus are very low on their money right now. They must they, they have, have to go for an eco and they should carry a kit. Yes, but they're Let's not do. going for the eco. They are they, they have taken the SNGs, they have taken their favorite pistols, and some of they have taken the flashbangs. I guess they they would be rushing left, right, and center in any of the side. Yeah, they are they are all uh, rushing toward the BB side and a quite amount of nice amount of meat wasted out over there and no damage being done on the side. Right? Yeah, yeah, Risk over here. He is actually gonna go through the smoke, and if someone just like this free fires through the smoke, he he's is getting there. at least some vision, and he, he he couldn't get the headshot over there. That was a good strategy from Bridge. He he tried to play it smart out over there, and it all that move almost paid off. This uh, Crusaders were weren't aware that he has uh, jumped in towards the B main platform, and let's see whether he can get too close kill but I think to get the end he just picks Brits with a nice headshot of a 4v5 situation and they, they have a one hand but Bart up is making it equal for both of them he picks power with a nice easy shot on him but Buster is playing very passive and he has a nice pose he is covered from both the sides yeah he but is covered and he's not being spotted as well because there's a smoke uh, up his uh, head and there's no vision on the right side and PK gets a good uh, headshot on Bumblebee Bumblebee couldn't do any damage, no well, damage this round yeah, and Kavish has taken on 3 people. Yeah, yeah, he is just getting a fight over here, he is low on HP, he goes on by Kavish. Kavish picks up the second one flag as well. Buster low on HP, he has a CZ in his hand but won't be doing much. He will go for. He should go for a save because he does have armour to work with. And Buster has no choice but he has to go in for the round because if they But yeah, Buster getting this, a nice shot yeah, Buster on getting Kavish, a nice, a nice headshot but getting back up by Magic. Magic gives him a few bullets for the taste and match point to Crusaders now, to, uh, now out over here not many people would have predicted this but yes Crusaders are on match point and they have a comfortable this? lead of four rounds from the Shadels and Shadels still low on money someone please donate this <laughs> donate some and they are taking the SMGs they are taking the pistols they are buying anything that is it's the last feasible round, to like buy they, have, they just go for the buy like that they have like they have to buy it full but wrong push brother, wrong push. Krish picks him down very easily. That was a wrong smoke and a wrong push and you, you're facing Krish without uh, pro properly smoking the mid though and taking an open shot which is not at all advisable and Rich trying to go in through the smoke and trying to get at least one to kill but he's, he has taken a lot of damage of the, the free bullets. Well, Krish is and he lines up the fire but couldn't get the second oh, one. He does get one That frag. would have made it quite interesting at Rich. Got, got two kills out yeah, over there, but Buster, Buster, Buster like game gets an AK. Here. Let's see whether he can use it. He, he can kill the Crusaders with their own gun, but slots. Big spot out over there and will really get a kill, but he, he doesn't get a kill. He's taken off by Bumblebee. Down, man. This is all on Buster. He is the wrong guy left. He is trying to get two flags, missing two shots. But yeah, he will get one, but power will shut him down. The Crusaders take the lead for this map. They have five points in their pocket. They made a nice comeback for this match. They didn't give Shadels any chance of coming back in this game. It, this it, was, totally it, it was like a total, total shift. It's like the Shadels were winning at the start, but Crusader made an amazing comeback and they have taken the map comfortably 16 games to 11. And quite an interesting match. I, I... This is an amazing gameplay and it was an amazing match today. And what an insane level of energy between these two teams. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, Crusaders. This is me, Jareen, signing off.